the Craig Allen Maiden Hurdle is next. It's a three mile Maiden Hurdle from Toaster. And we've got a field of just four for this. Press Gang at the top for Graham Clutterbuck. Tigers Soprano for Matt Cooper. Gade Bridge for Darren Thompson. And a Rebel Run for Patrick Hogan. So just four. And away they go. There's quite a few three mile Maiden Hurdles this week. And we saw them would have been amalgamated. I don't know, but anyway. It's Tigers Soprano who's gone off into the lead. That's Tigers Soprano or Tigers Caprano. I'm pretty sure it's probably Tigers Soprano. If it's not, then Matt Cooper will let me know in the forums and I'll call it Tigers Caprano next week. And get to the first and they're all safely over that one. It's Tigers Caprano for Matt Cooper in the lead. Then Rebel Run for Padre Gogan second. Press Gang on the inside for Graham Clutterbuck. He's third. Is that name left of that 1990s kids TV program? I can't imagine Graham Clutterbuck was a fan of that. I'm sure he's far too old to have been watching kids programs in the 1990s. And Gade Bridge the Great. Or Darren Thompson. So just the four in this then. And something we might see quite a lot of this season as we've got nowhere near as many horses as normal as trains are normal it's almost like the real jump scene isn't it with four five and six runner fields everywhere hunting done every week and tigers a soprano in front on gade ridge second rebel run third and press gap fourth hopefully we'll get a few more loaded up when the window or when the uploads up open again at the end of this weekend's race and then they're opening again, i think till next week you can put some in, so hopefully some people will fill their stables out. Or maybe just throw some in if they haven't got any in so far. Otherwise you're going to have to be listening to a lot of me waffling over the next 13 weeks. And hopefully, at some point during the season, the housewife's choice, Mr Stu Gray, will be back in the commentary box as well. And he can waffle like the rest of them. And he'll tell you all sorts of stories about all sorts of things from all sorts of places. As they get over the fourth, what I'll tell you is that Toaster race course where we are now is about 10 12 miles away from where I live. That's where I used to go a lot in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s. And it's sadly now, well, it's there, but it's not racing there anymore. It's got a ground track now. The race course has not got any fixtures anymore. The course is still there, it's still a good course, it's still a nice place. They just have ground racing now, lost the racing fixtures and went into administration and all sorts of stuff. Really sorry scenes after it was done up. And you can see from the pictures here there's the old stand of a new stand and it was really nicely put together and you could get in for free as well which was a good incentive. You get some good big crowds there and there's a track that trainers used to like because it's a stiff track up here where you can see if your horse have got anything about it. I remember going in the 70s to see Tingle Creek racing there a couple of times. A great horse like that going to Toaster in there. It's just just got Greyhound racing, but it's got the Greyhound Derby, so I suppose it's pretty prestigious in the world of Greyhounds. But it will be nice to get racing back there one day. Anyway, back to this race in the world of SO7. We've still got jump racing at Toaster. And we've still got flat racing at Warwick, so we can live in our own fantasy world if we want. And it's Tiger Soprano in the lead from Gade Bridge in second, Press Gay in third, and Rebel Run in fourth. They went their way towards the final mile in this race. I managed to waffle my way through two miles. This is the Craig Allen Maiden. I'll waffle a bit more now. I wonder what Craig Allen's up to. He did have had a couple of good seasons when he came back. Didn't he have to be away for a while? And was a part of one of our Christmas phoning show things we did. And he went, he got off to do turkey racing or chicken racing or something. I heard from him for a while. I don't he's by any chance watching this or anybody's in contact with him. Maybe Leon. Let's have an update on the chicken racing. Went off to breed chickens to race. I'm not joking, this is true. Anyway, it's Tonga Soprano in the lead from Press Gang in second, Gabe Bridge third, and a Rebel Run in fourth. Big muddy in chicken racing, apparently. Anyway, Tonga Soprano's in front as they get over the ninth. 
Brigade Bridge Press Gang and Rebel run the race is now starting to unfold and suddenly Tiger Soprano has been tracked by Rebel Run and these two are clear of Gatebridge and Press Gang and Rebel Run's now probably kicking on for home it's a stiff uphill finish here though remember and you can see the um, stand in the distance and they've still got a fair old way to go they get up and Gatebridge made a mistake that was a third last and it's Rebel Run who's now gone five six lengths clear Tiger Soprano has suddenly shot his bolt in second Press Gang is back in third Gatebridge the grey is in fourth but really recovered for that mistake Rebel Run there's a good eight lengths clear with two to jump and only a furlong and a half to go and barring a fall you couldn't see anything getting anywhere near this Rebel Run could you but Rebel Run then is racing towards the final flight just got to get over it nicely. I've seen plenty of horses fall up my last at Toaster over the years, but it's not going to happen to Rebel Run, and Rebel Run is 6, 7, let's clear, and he's going to race up towards the line and get another winner for Padre Hogan, so Rebel Run the winner. Gatebridge is second, Press Gang third, and Tiger Soprano was fourth. Not a chicken in sight, and Padre Hogan wants himself another winner. comfortably so Rebel Run the winner there for Padre Hogan Gainbridge second for Darren Thompson Press Gang for Graham Clutterbuck is third and Tiger Soprano for Matt Cooper was fourth